Everybody feels low. Everybody feels high. Fasten your seatbelts, America. Alexandra Spaulding is back in Springfield. Born in Russell, Kansas, actress Marge Doucet plays the rich and sometimes scheming businesswoman on Guiding Light, the longest running show in television history. Doucet followed actresses Beverly McKenzie and Joan Collins in the role of Alexandra Spaulding after creating many stunning portrayals on the stage, on television, and in movies. Her feature film debut was in Clambake a 1960s film that starred a young singing sensation named Elvis Presley. He said, how do you do? And I'm Elvis. And I said, oh, yes, I know that. And he offered, he said, may I get you a cup of coffee, ma'am? And, and over here at the table. And he, he was just an absolute sweet, the most gorgeous time in his life. He was just a fabulous gentleman. It, it was exciting. I don't think I appreciated it as much as I do now. In daytime television, Marge Doucet put her stamp on roles in Santa Barbara, Capital, and All My Children. She's probably best known, however, for her Emmy-nominated portrayal of Alexandra Spaulding, a role she took over in 1993 and has played steadily for the past seven years. Marge Doucet is, like, so amazing. I wish she could just play herself on the show. <laughs> She's so funny. She's so outgoing. She has so many great stories to tell. I think as Alexander, she brings all that. She brings a lot of energy uh, and she just brings class to the show and I think she brings her talent and you know a great actress like that can never be underestimated. Alan, you have a responsibility to the family and to this company, not to some, some face-stealing lunatic. So what parts of her own personality does Marge draw from to play Alex? Maybe a little snide humor, some sort of an independent streak, not, not, not really capable of trusting, a great independent desire. For me, it's always been that, and I think for her, it's been independence from people running and ruining her life. <laughs> There's a whole history of Alex that, uh, and I've traveled a lot in Europe, and you know, you have times when you're flying on a private jet, you have times when you're, you know, meeting lords and ladies, you have interesting, interesting things. And I've always imagined her to have such incredible times and doing things really raucous over there. It's fascinated me to um, just think about what could it be like if I could take other, you know, women who've done this kind of thing and kind of mix and mingle some of the things that I've experienced or, or or watch. And what's the hardest part of playing the formidable Ms. Spaulding? When you can't understand a story you've been given sometimes. When you have to work so hard to justify this happening. And it, it's okay if it's really broad over, you know, I mean, a, a high anxiety, raucous kind of comedic kind of thing, which I love to do, but it's hard when you can't justify a, a reasoning when you can't really say, I'm doing this because of that, or the reasoning isn't deep enough that has, would have her do it. Marge Doucet says playing a daytime dramatic character is no easy task. Here's how she keeps her character interesting. Always try to be excited before you start. And always use this, this kind of uh, mantra of, before you get ready to do the scene, what one more thing can you do to make it interesting? Because I believe people always have several thoughts going on in their mind. And to always look like you've got thoughts going on in your mind that not everybody could read. It's really duplicitous in a way. <laughs> and how are Alex and her brother Alan getting along these days? I think she has been so worn out by his actions. She's tried and tried and tried forever and ever and ever to get him to, to do something that's, that's noble and right and stay on a path. And he becomes unpredictable all the time. And yet she loves him dearly. It was always the two of them, and they were protective of each other. And I don't think she can ever get over, over that, that kind of thing. We always want to find some way of feeling that that's the only person that can protect you or feeling you're the only person that can protect them. In daytime, every taping is like an opening night. That's one of the reasons Marge Doucet feels it's important to be a mentor for younger soap actors. I had done movies, I had done improvisational comedy theater, I had done television shows, pilots, you name it. 
and coming on when I first started in Capital was terrifying because I happened to start five days for about five weeks and your brain and you're not used to and you know working that quickly and I realized how, how absolutely terrifying and how you know people people supporting you can help you because your mind could just go jitter jitter when you're doing so those heavy heavy schedules but I think you have to be very careful so you don't damage. Here's what Marge wants her fans to know right now about Alexandra Spaulding. She's kind of been sitting back and watching the town, watching the family, and biting her lip and biting her tongue and holding her breath saying, how long can we sit back and stand this without taking some action? You know, everybody wants Alan to be taught a lesson. And who better than Alex? And I feel that, you know, somehow she should have a power play in there that says, I'm going to twist it. I've had the right, and I've watched you, and you really screw it up. Whatever the future holds for Marge Doucet, it is guaranteed to be interesting. A friend of mine wants to write a cabaret act. The only way I could do possibly do anything is share that, because, you know, I'm, I'm a more a comedic singer. I can do it with a microphone. I sound pretty good and blah, blah, blah. And I think I would have to do it so I didn't take myself too seriously. And everybody else didn't either. He's got blinders on. He is just so madly in love with this woman that he ignores everything else. All he sees is one person and one thing. And he's, he's really excited to marry her. I mean, he really wants to start a family with her and, and, and start his life over again.